Hello, well, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the weekly podcast. How is everybody doing today? How is everybody doing? I can't hear anything in this because this uh, this train's really loud. Tra- <laughs> I, there's, there's very loud music coming from Rocket League over here as well. Uh, I've only got one earphone working because my new mic that I just got from CEX for some reason worked for The Last of Us, but I think that killed it because now it doesn't. Now it, I can hear from it, but I can't speak through it. The mic is broken. <laughs> Which is wow. great. Unfortunate, eh? You you got a broken mic on your on your VR, haven't you? I do. I don't know why though. I don't know what I did to it. <laughs> uh, hope, hope you're all well. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a podcast. We're going to be doing a, uh, another gaming podcast, bringing you another game. Ah, give up control. Yes. Okay, it's come up. It's come up. Brilliant. Now it yes. Oh, sorry. Right, we're in. So uh, I'm going to oh. launch up a quick play here, and we're going to get into it and see what. I'm in, I'm in Leeds at the moment. I'm doing Leeds to Manchester via train sim world. <laughs> It's a good little background, though, for the podcast, not gonna lie. It is! It is a good little background. Uh, I'm not sure when the train leaves, but I've given up control. So hopefully it ah, will leave soon. My game's launching up now, too. Uh, please, everybody at home, excuse how crap I am at Rocket League. That's not the focus yeah, of the podcast. With us, we're, this, this, is, this is all very new. Um, yeah, totally. How, how have you been during Corona? Um, uh, usual, you know, it's quite a boring quarantine, you know, stuff like that. Can't, yeah. Having fun at home, stuff like that. The games are keeping me occupied, like the latest. Games, Game, are, games are. Games are keeping us very occupied. Um, I think we, we did touch on some games, didn't we, in our last one? We, we had a little chat about upcoming uh, games. We did indeed. I don't know, um, I can't really remember off the top of my head what games, but we definitely spoke about lots of upcoming ones. Yeah. Um, there's, there are some good ones. Actually, do you know what I saw recently, which looks pretty good? Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Oh damn, I've never, really, I've never really been a, uh, a fan of skateboard games. Oh no, yeah, well I, I remember the, um, they used to have Tony Hawk Underground 2, I haven't played that many, I played those two, and then American Wasteland, I, they were quite fun, but no, I'm, I'm not that knowledgeable on skateboard games, like I'm not a massive, avid, you know, skateboard uh, yeah. um, enthusiast, but I, I remember having a go when I was a teenager, and my mates were way better than me. I tried, but I was never, I was never as good. Oh, we're moving! Woohoo! <laughs> I've, I've, I've always been a bit of a wuss when it comes to skateboard things. Like, I'm always, uh, I, I'm too scared to actually skateboard properly because I think I'm going to have an accident or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, no, it's fun. Well, maybe, maybe on, maybe on PlayStation you might find it fun. Yeah, well, see, snow, snowboarding games, like, uh, and skateboarding games have never been my cup of tea, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. No, there's um, yeah, there's, there's there's some there's some interesting games actually coming out. What else was it apart from those? Uh, was uh, oh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima looks quite good. Oh, I've been I've been I, I don't know why I, I watched the gameplay trailer for that and now it's one of my favourite games of all time already. Yeah, it looks so good, dude. Japanese swordsman. Exactly, I mean, and you, I just I just love the gameplay elements. It reminds me of Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh god, do you know what, I'm, I'm t- with the one earphone, it's really loud on this, um, on can, this ear train. I, I can hear you, but I can also hear the game very loud as well. I, don't, I hope you guys can, I hope you can hear our voices. Okay, well. I guess we'll just have to assume that our voices are louder than the, um, than, than they are for us. And we'll just have to make them louder, if, if they're not. <laughs> can you imagine if, if, if we release the podcast and all you can hear throughout the whole podcast is like, shh, <laughs> just, just the train oh, noises and car it. noises. That'd be horrific. <laughs> Honestly, an hour worth of talking about great, great things, and then all for nothing. Yeah, all for nothing. Yeah, what did we touch on last time? Oh, we talked about PS5 last time, didn't we? We, uh, we did. About we had. Um, we talked about all sorts of games. We didn't talk about all the games that are coming out lately for PS5, but there's always. Yeah. Uh, what were some of them? Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh no, Horizon. not Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, Horizon. Not Frozen Wastes. What was it uh, called? I can't remember actually. Uh, White Summit West or something like that. <laughs> Wild West! <laughs> uh, uh, Aloy with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> yeah! It's like, you know how they have the metallic creatures, you just got a metallic horse, just like... <laughs> like oh, that would be great! Imagine, uh, I can imagine having a Stetson. I mean, something about the West, and there was like turtle robots and all sorts of stuff, wasn't there? <laughs> in, in the gameplay trailer, there was a turtle, if I remember correctly, I'm not being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that, that game looks good too. I'm also looking forward to uh, Resident Evil 8. The Village! 
the village. Yes, the Resident Evil Eight, the village. Now that looks really good. Um, but yeah, I love Resident Evil. I just, can't believe, I just can't believe they're making another Resident Evil behind the Oh, say again, sorry. I'm saying I can't believe they're making another Resident Evil game. It's just crazy. Yeah. Um, if they, I mean, the, the, the job they did with uh, the Biohazard was incredible. So, yeah. Oh yeah, Biohazard. Yeah. That was such a good game though. I mean, it was kind of hard to get into at first, but you know, the more you played it, the more you were like, yeah. Because I was yeah. thinking, I, I just thought to myself, really, a first-person Resident Evil game doesn't sound right, but it actually really was good. Yeah. Sorry about that, by the way. That's my chair for all the people. Yo, I've here. just, ha I've just had the best idea. I'm gonna go on settings and turn the SFX down, and hopefully this should work. Oh, good idea. Oh God, no! What have I done? What have I done? Uh, oh god, I, I I missed what I did. Oh, I'll have to check that later. I, I, Gameplay I'm volume sorry. can go down. Music volume yes. can go down. Oh god, we, we, oh. we have terrible luck on this, don't we, sometimes? With the, ah, master volume, there we go. 35. 39, that should do it. Apply. Sorry about that, right, what's going on? Did that apply? Uh, yeah, yes, actually, the game's gotten a little bit quieter, so I, now... I can hear you a little better. Really? I think, I think so, yeah. Again. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can alter the... Aha, we're geniuses. We are. Absolute geniuses. Hold on, I'm going to just knock down the volume a bit more. The, the only thing I can't do, there used to be a way that you could look at the, the train from a different angle, like, you know, cinematic mode sort of thing, but I can't seem to find out or remember how you do it. <laughs> oh, uh, oh dear. There we go, I can hear you right, I can hear you clear as day now. Amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, great, I can, I can hear you much better. Great. So now we can actually talk about the game. <laughs> game. Well, I guess it's just going to be in it's just going to be in in first person, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very sorry. Anyway, sorry about that, everyone. We are... Technical yeah. difficulties. Technical difficulties. Oh, the village. Got... Yeah, the village. Oh uh, yeah, the village. Resident Evil. Um, I don't see where they're going to go if it takes place in just a village. But you know, um, Capcom are very creative when it comes to their games. So I I think I know they'll think of something. Yeah. Well, what they did. But what we saw in the trailer was we definitely know Ethan's back in some way, shape, or form because he. So someone goes Ethan, and then he's on the floor, and then what looks like Chris, you know, Chris Redfield, seems yeah. to be about to shoot him. But obviously that trailer is going to be like a. They're, they're leading us the wrong direction on purpose. That's clearly not going to be. I mean, maybe that happens, but I don't think Chris is going to be the the main antagonist, and then Ethan dies at Chris's hand in a village randomly. I mean, Jeez. I don't see that. Happen. No, I don't but, see that. Um, they can't kill off Ethan. Well, they, well, you know, Ethan's not really the most well-known Resident Evil protagonist, but I actually no. got to like him the more we played. Yeah, I know. I quite liked him. Um, and if they can incorporate VR into it again, I mean, that would just be... Oh, I wow. keep forgetting to press apply. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have done all of this before... Uh, before. Is that, yeah, there there's always technical difficulties. There is always technical difficulties. Always, every day, every minute, of every, every second. Every minute. Especially in, in the YouTube business. In, in the, the business. YouTube business. There we go. Ah, yes, that's better. Uh, where? Yeah. Yeah, this is so, um, what were we saying? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, if they can incorporate VR into it and add some add. kind of, something different. We need something different. Yeah, some, some, something, I don't know. What do you think, what are your thoughts on VR for the PS5? They're definitely keeping it up their sleeve. They're definitely waiting for a moment to reveal it. They did. A, they purposely didn't use all their cards because why would they? They just. They're gonna get. I think they're gonna get the PS5 out first. Get. Make sure people have got it. See how well it sells, and then reveal we've got a new PS, a new VR wireless or something. You know, something, <laughs> something exciting. I think. Because uh, yeah, it would be silly not. It would be silly to to reveal all too early. I, I'm not expecting it yet for for a bit anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't, it, may, it wouldn't make sense to reveal it so early, like you said, because the PS5 isn't even out yet, so... Yeah... PS5, but, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, I really am looking forward to them, actually. Doesn't even feel like it's real, if that makes sense, you know, like the PS5, god damn. Yeah... I know, uh, I know it uh, seems like only yesterday that we were... PS3, I remember, PS3 I re I re PS2, PS1. I remember when the PS4 first came out, you know? I had that, um, yeah. I was just so excited, I got it on its release date, 2015 was it? Yeah. Jesus, that was such a long time ago, man. 
What are your thoughts on uh, Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk, now that, that's a game I've never actually been super interested in. I don't really know yeah. what it's about, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much, no, it's, it's a bit, I mean, I, I, I've only seen, like, a, I don't know if I've seen, I can't remember if, I don't think I've seen gameplay, I've seen sort of game reveals and cinematic trailers, and I've yeah. heard a bit about it. It, 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 does look, it does look pretty good, but yeah, I, you never know until you I don't, I don't, I don't know what it's about, like, like I say, I need more information before I judge a game. You know, I always need more info. Yeah, well, I, I kind of, they made some kind of cyberpunky games before, like, did you ever play Deus Ex? Uh, I have played Deus Ex, it's not one of those games I could really get behind, but like... Yeah, oh yeah, no, fair enough, so there's augmentations and futuristic, weird, you know, everyone's got these weird powers and chips <laughs> exactly. in them, and everyone's a ro 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 robot, and, Everyone's you know, got mechanical parts and all sorts of shit, it's all weird. Yeah, uh, the, the, although there was a, there was a, the, the, oh! I know it's not already out, but do you know what I got stupidly? Have you ever played Mafia? Um, I have played the original Mafia 2, and... Uh... I have talked to you, tell you, let me tell you a little bit about Mafia. <laughs> so, you know what I did? I went on the store, right? I'm such a schmuck. I went on the store, and I got the Mafia trilogy, right? Because I never played Mafia in all my life. Never touched it. I got the Mafia trilogy, but it turns out that the goddamn Foist one ain't available till August. So now I've got 2 and 3, and i got to wait for the Foist. Uh, and I'm really pissed, so I got the trilogy, but I didn't read the small print properly because the first one doesn't come out until August. So I actually played Mafia One. I never even in my life, but I played Mafia Three because I actually enjoyed that game. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Oh, nice! I've never, I've, do you know, I've never played any of them, and that's why I got it because I was like, I want to try them out, and they're all remastered now. So I never played them originally. So I'm, excited, I'm really excited. The bit that I played of Two was alright. Yeah. From this pack. I, I, I didn't finish the second game, but I definitely. Uh, I don't think I think it's the third one, but um, they're definitely very good games, very solid games. Yeah, <laughs> it does look good. I mean, I mean, like, it looks amazing, and uh, one's going to be extra exciting. I, I don't know if it's all the same story or it's slightly different, or they have. Uh, yeah, I, uh, but yes, I will find out. I guess. Yeah. I'd be pretty. I'd be pretty amazed if this one protagonist survives all three games, because the Mafia world is pretty messed up. But if you exactly. survive all three of them, I mean, good, good on you. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, some of some of those games. I mean, just there's loads of games coming out, man. That I'm really excited about. You know. Uh, yeah. Especially um, uh, well, I don't know really. Uh, Iron Man VR. That's it, of course. That, that, Iron Man VR. That is in Chudlu days, isn't it? Or three days? Uh, Chudlu days. Yeah, I think it's um. Uh, wait, is it? I thought it was, um... Hold on. It's the 30th think, of June today, the, so. I think it's the 3rd of July. Or yeah, the 4th so. of July. The 4th of July! Um, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I mean, I said before when I streamed it, I'm really excited uh, for yeah. that. Because it's been delayed multiple times. I've tried it at Comic-Con. It was wicked! And the, it looks amazing. I love Iron Man. I'm a huge Iron Man fan. Uh, big Marvel fan, so uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm really excited for it. I've always so. been, I've always preferred Marvel over DC anyway. Come at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it, it's great. It's such, a, it's such an interesting character. Uh, I know, yeah. Tony Stark, because he's the sort of character you should hate, but you can't, you kind of can't hate him because he's, he, just, you know, he's, he's a... just walking charisma. <laughs> oh, I'm in Morley. Do you know where Morley is? Uh, Morley, no, I don't think I've heard that. Oh. Well, it's, it's, it's somewhere. Be oh, someone sitting next to me. It's somewhere between. It's the stop after Leeds. I'm heading oh. to Manchester. Yeah, oh, you're talking about the train game now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were still talking about Iron Man for a second there. Sorry, oh, sorry. I got distracted. I get very distracted. Sorry. Yes, okay. Iron Man. Um, very good. Did you play the demo, Tudalu? I did lots of times actually. I can't, mm, I can't how are you with the flying? Um, well, I actually. It's, it's hard to get a grasp of it at first, but all you have to do is put your hands down by your sides. So. Yeah. You know, at first yeah, I was like, oh, I... do you have to actually fly like Iron Man with your hands behind your back, like, stuck out, but no. You can, though. You know, you kind of yeah. can, if you want. You can, you can kind of do fly are. backwards, you shoot exactly. your hands up, you go down, you shoot your hands down, you go, oh, man, I love it. The, the flight exactly. mechanics are great. Because that's how they would be in real life, though, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Real life flying suit, yep. you'd be sorted. I, I was, um, I, I remember queuing up at Comic-Con, and I was dressed as Colonel Sanders. I was so excited. <laughs> And, and the guy was just like, oh god, it's gone all dark, it's gone really dark. Wait, I can't see a ruddy thing. Really? Yeah, are tunnels this dark in trains? There should be lights. <laughs> oh, you, oh my god. have lights? Come on, game. They, they do have lights, I can't see anything. I go, oh god. 
<laughs> oh god, wait, oh, okay, well, Don't oh. Worry. You'll find the light eventually. And the light, anyway, I'll just do it in darkness, um, with my compass. The, yeah, the, um, yeah, the, 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 blah, 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 blah. What was <laughs> I saying to Lou? It's been a long, it's been a long. Uh, you were saying about Iron Man VR. Ah, yes, but what part of Iron Man, oh, anyway, we'll just, we'll just move on. But Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man VR, we, uh, yeah, it's like a real good flying simulator. It's, it's, it's kind of replicates what it's like to be Iron Man. Mine is the rocket boots. It's something I'm surprised that uh, that VR hasn't given us already. Like, you know? Mm. I'm surprised it wasn't like a release title, like, you know? Yeah, there was, there, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because we, we, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air. Like, we kind of wanted something like that. Oh, God, I found the torch! <laughs> it's oh, really goodness. scary in here. That was like something out of a horror game. Literally, I don't know how I'm doing so good, but I'm actually getting loads of uh, goals in this game right now. Completely oh, off subject, nice. but like... Yeah, so so you're playing Rocket League? I am playing Rocket League. I haven't played it in years. Oh, big shout um, to uh, Risky Risky, Ollie and Billy, if you guys could ever watch this, because uh, Rocket League is quite something um, two of them are interested in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Rocket League is, is one of those games that I've never actually played much, because I'm crap at it, but like, it's one of those games that you just have to get lucky at, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rocket League. It's, it's football with cars, isn't it? When, Basically, um, but, the, but the football is giant. Giant football. <laughs> giant football. Uh, well, well, we won. I win. Yay. Did you win? Yay. I am the prodigy. <laughs> you are the winner of, of all things. <laughs> I am I am the divine uh, <laughs> game player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is another game, was it? There's a... There's, um... There's the, the, the now you're not you're not a huge skateboarder. There's there's a there's a Tony Hawk game coming out as well, which looks pretty good. Uh, uh, if if you're into that sort of. Is it the one we were talking about a few minutes ago? Yeah, yeah, it, it was. That wasn't on the was that on the podcast? Were we talking about it? Uh, just a few minutes ago, we were. Yeah. Oh God, you know, I thought that was before the podcast, so I'm going back <laughs> on myself. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Uh, Underground one and two. <laughs> I think I mentioned blah 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 blah. Anyway, oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, there's there's so many games coming out lately, dude. That I just I'm just so excited about, like, especially the um, I don't know, Horizon Zero Dawn was one of my favorite games of all time when I when I played it for the first time. And I really that, liked it. it. Yeah. Is it classed as a sequel? This new one that's coming out, or is it like a just? A... I think it is a sequel because uh, <laughs> it's got the same last in it. Oh, actually, unless it's a prequel, of course. But I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I wonder if we'll get to fight that really giant. Uh, spoilers for the end of the end of the Horizon Zero Dawn, by the way. Spoiler alert! Spoiler, spoiler alert! alert. <laughs> uh, just for the spoiler for just just for the end of um, Horizon Zero Dawn, if none of you finished it yet, and if none of you finished it yet, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> it's 2017. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's seriously though. Um, the ending to that game. Do you know? Do you remember that big giant machine with all the tentacles? Well, I have a slight. A slight confession to big to the game. I've You've not yet finished Horizon you have not, Zero Dawn. You haven't Dawn. finished Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I know, Don't worry I about know. it. I, I won't spoil anything I, for you, then. Uh, so, well, we know there's a giant tentacle thing now. Um, uh, yeah, but it's, it's still not, exciting. You don't actually fight it at all, but, you know, it's just. Do you want. Are you okay with spoilers? Uh, Ah, uh, normally not, but it's alright. For, 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 for Horizon, go for it, go for it. No, no, it's okay. Let's move, we can move on. Just, uh, Find the, the gap, bitches! <laughs> sorry, sorry, Anthony. Anyway, yeah, yeah go on, go on. No, I'm saying it's okay, we can move on. I don't want to give any spoilers away. So, uh, yeah, but Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm, I'm very excited for that one. It looks, looks really, really cool. I watched the whole trailer because I had to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, look, it, it was really good. It was original. It was different. It was kind of a fun open world. Kind of looked great. Yeah, it was a very, um, very good looking game. The, the funny, yeah. I just found something quite funny as well. I'm, I'm, there's a there's a person I'm playing against on this Rocket League called uh, No Iron Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's wrong? My train, my train left me. I thought it wouldn't leave until I was on there. I've lost Miss No. Come back. Oh no. I stepped outside, but I thought it would. Oh crap, I've missed my train. Oh, my train's gone. Oh, my Sorry, goodness. Toodaloo, I didn't mean to interrupt. Do you want to, That's do you okay. want to carry on? I was saying, there's, a, there's, a character, there's someone I'm playing against and it's called No Iron Man. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, is he, tell, is he trying to tell us something that there's going to be No Iron Man? 
No Iron Man. No, there's literally someone called No Iron Man, and I'm like, is he trying to tell us something? <laughs> it's a lie. It was a dream. It was a dream. It was just wishful thinking, you know? <laughs> Toodaloo, I've missed my train. I don't know what to do. Uh, walk? <laughs> Make it like, a walking I simulator. Walk. The thing is, because I, I thought it, it was like on a free mode where it's like, it won't. It's not like the actual campaign mode that you can do, the proper mode. So I thought it won't leave until I'm back on there. Uh, yeah. But obviously, my character is not that important in this game. Because, <laughs> so the train's just um, ditched you, yeah? It just gone. It literally gone. I tried to open the doors. They were locked. Like in real life, it's very, very real life. This train simulator. Can I go oh on the tracks? Goodness. I can. I can careful go on the tracks. tracks. Can... Careful now. Careful now. Oh god. This is... oh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna try and walk it. To the at least to the next station. Be careful. Don't try this at home, children. By the Don't way, if you do this in real track, life, kids. never do this. I tell you why. For starters, you will get fined, <laughs> which is the most important thing. Oh, and for yeah. seconds, you might get run over. Yeah, which is, I don't know, well, that's a bit, that poses a bigger risk to your life, so, Well, like, I don't know, because if you get hit by a train, you don't have to worry about anything anymore, that's it. Like, you don't have to worry <laughs> about fines, you don't have to worry about the work, or bills, or any dangerous animals but no, eating but you. I, to be honest, I still, I, I'd rather keep my life, uh, than, you know, than get flattened by a train. Yeah, but, uh, actually, you're right, I guess, like, yeah, to be honest. Would you rather like, pay lots and lots of money to, to stay alive, or, like, get yourself killed by a train? Oh. That's true. But you see, the thing is, if there's actually a heaven, or an afterlife, and it's better than this life, then... But we don't know. Maybe we get re reincarnated into, like, a, a bird or a golden eagle or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, this is the depression podcast, folks. <laughs> oh, so, no, <laughs> We got very deep sorry. then, all of a sudden. Oh, God, it got very deep. Oh, there's another train, by the way, but it's going the wrong way. <laughs> Oof. Try and catch it. <laughs> no. Catch the train. Oh. God, you actually, you know what, that, tra that, no, that train's giving me hope. I'm going to assume that the train's come back, so I'm going to go back to the station. <laughs> I'm in a place called Bately. We got, we got very deep then all of a sudden, didn't we? That was a bit of a, a deep the conversation. Deep podcast. This is the deep podcast. The deep podcast. The deep That's conversation. It's quite nice about games, talking of life and afterlife. It's like, games are great because they give you a second chance, don't they? You know, exactly. you, can, you, can, you, can, you can fall off stuff or you can get, you know, killed by an evil villain, but you, get, you can come back. Yeah, exactly. Well, not not all the time. Not unless it's permadeath. Oh, God! Permadeath. Oh, God. Let's talk about some permadeath games. What permadeath uh, games? <laughs> recently, a permadeath game I've been playing here. Monstrum, the scary game on my channel recently. That's permadeath that's uh, things you find. If you get killed by one of the monsters, that's it. Starting from the beginning. Oh, I can sprint! I found out how I can sprint! Amazing! Great. Yeah, permadeath. Oh, God. A perma another permadeath game. Daisy. Daisy. I've never actually played Daisy. Yeah, that. Oh God. Uh, actually, you quite like it. One, one, one. Yeah, one, one day I think you, you might quite like. You might find it quite entertaining. Yeah, um, I do like zombies. I don't know. Like. Yeah. Uh, Fallout Four. You, there's a permadeath option for that, isn't there? Fallout Four. Uranium fevers come and got me down. Uranium fevers <laughs> spreading all around. With a guy in counter. I love. I love the radio on GTA. Not GTA Fallout. The Fallout. I actually it's haven't so listened to the radio for oh. that much. I forgot there oh, was one brilliant. Video on the Pit Boy. Yeah, it's like 1940s music on the, on the Pit Boy and oh, 50s. That's great. And the Juicy, there's all these old. That's the yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, Fallout 4 was a bit of a rocky game in places, but still better than 76. Oh God, but 76, it just works. <laughs> I mean, that fucking, that Todd Howard, I mean, oh, God. Uh, I mean, if we're going to talk about Bethesda, we always touch on some scandal. I think last time we did EA, but should we just talk about Bethesda for a little bit? Let's talk about Bethesda. Oh, boy. They're never going to represent us on our channel now because of this. You know? no, oh, no, so, well. But sorry, Bethesda, but you need, you need Sorry, you Bethesda. Need we, ha we do have to talk about this. There, there were some ish issues, issues, <laughs> just a few. problems, uh, yeah, with... Particularly the, the pre-order stuff for 76, involving, I think, some n <coughs> nylon bags, um, <laughs> Nuka cola um... <laughs> yeah, uh, not, I mean, not just Fallout 76, just Bethesda in general. Yeah, Bethesda in general. Um, well, particularly when, well, when advertising Fallout uh, 76, they, you know, they, they, oh, six times the frame rate, or whatever it was he says. Oh, it just works. 
<laughs> it just know. works. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, we're basically EA Bethesda companies like that. They could up their game a tad. But like, so not happy to say that. Ah, uh, up their game. I see what you did there. Was like, <laughs> oh, clever. I actually, I know pun intended at all. But now I'm, I'm hearing my. Uh... Oh really? Oh, well, well, that was pretty I, good. Yeah, it was a complete accident. You're naturally a punner. I am a natural punner. I can make puns yes. out, out of nowhere without even knowing I've done it. <laughs> oh god! But yeah, no. So we, so we've, um, we are, we are both quite excited for the PS5, I guess, because there, there are some. There are. Uh, uh, just having a, another little look. Oh god, there's a, there's a Lego Star Wars again, which is. Oh uh, god, the, the mega trilogy. They've already done that though. Oh wait, no, because they've got the new three, the three other Star Wars now, haven't they? So yeah. Oh, oh Assassin's Creed Valhalla! <laughs> oh my goodness, that, um, that that one looks good, but like, you know, they don't even have hoods anymore. You can't, no, it's not even Assassin's Creed, bro. Yeah, did, did, I mean, the, uh, to be honest, I didn't. I haven't looked too much into this. I should have, but the, what I did see was that cinematic trailer. Yeah. Um, did you see that where you know they're fighting and they got that big tank guy you think's gonna kill him and it turns out that the king's uh, oh no no it's not the king it's like one of the king's soldiers is like an ass assassin and then and he's part the of the creed and... like stab the guy in the eye with the with yeah the... it was a great cinematic obviously you should always take cinematics with a pinch of salt I feel I feel like um, uh, Assassin's Creed Ubisoft blow their budget on cinematic trailers and then the game itself isn't exactly up to scratch if that makes sense yeah. Like some of the some, some some of the cinematic trailers for Assassin's Creed are just so incredibly good. Assassin's Creed 2's cinematic trailer is like a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I had a go. The last I was having, I was I've been playing uh, Odyssey, uh, Odyssey, Odyssey Z, which is great because um, it's that's like uh, Athens and the Greek gods and the Greek myths and 300 Sparta. This is Sparta, sort of <laughs> stuff. You know, it's, it's great. Wow. Uh, we, yeah. There's some games that I didn't even know existed, to be honest, until I do a podcast with you. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, 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 some, there's some really good ones um, that are, you know, very, very exciting times. But I mean, I, uh, you know, it's good that you ask about the VR stuff, because I do wonder where PS5 are going to go with the future of virtual reality. Because, you know, they can't... I mean, virtual reality is such a major uh, thing in, in, the, in the PlayStation community at this point. Like, they have to go <clears> somewhere <throat> with it, don't they? Yeah... I oh, know. Uh, this train isn't coming, by the way, uh, <laughs> which isn't great. Uh, oh, we have just over. Yeah. Just well, no, I am. At, I am at the station. I, I just stayed here because I went back because I saw that other train. I thought maybe it had arrived, but it's not. Oh. So maybe I should just maybe I should just walk along the tracks. So what were you saying about a uh, time limit here? Yeah? Oh no, that's all right. We, we've just got we've got about what, one minute thirty. Um, oh yeah, totally. Do you want to explain to people that there's a reason that this is going to be a, a two-parter? This is. Well, we have got lots to share to you about uh, The Last of Us 2, and it's going to be an extremely spoiler-filled second half, so if you guys are a bit sensitive yeah. to that, then Actually, you know yeah, what to do. Actually, yeah, it will be spoilers, so we could, if you want, you could start us off, we could talk about some non-spoilers in, in the last bits of this video, if you want. Absolutely. Yeah. Some non-spoiler parts, and then we'll do, and then just just to be war just warning. Um, if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, or you haven't played the game yet, then uh, refrain from watching any more of this video. Yes. Exactly. Words of the King. <laughs> the the uh, the, uh, the Last of Us Two. Did you did you enjoy Last of Us Two, Toodaloo? Um, I actually very thoroughly enjoyed the game. Uh, all of it was extremely well done. The characters were likable. Especially Joel, which we'll get into later, but, um, uh, yeah, it was a good, enjoyable game up until the ending, which I'm not going to spoil. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. That's the, we'll, we will definitely get to that in the second part. Uh, what about gameplay? What did you think of gameplay? The gameplay itself, uh, to me, had no flaws whatsoever. I only wish that, uh, you know, in the first game, when uh, Joel used to put her his arm around Ellie, to keep her safe. Oh, cover. when they're hiding around yeah. corners. Oh, I remember yeah. that detail. Oh, yeah, that wasn't in this one, was it? It wasn't. Ellie didn't do it to Dina oh, or anything like yeah. that. And I, and I kind of wish. That's kind of. I was kind of hoping for that, but like. And the the infected were everything I could hope. But the new infected were terrifying. Yeah. But, yes. Like, there's a new infected which we will we'll talk about in spoilers. And there's <laughs> a, there's another massive infected that I'm not even going to get into yet. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it. I think we would. 
retreated to two infected, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not going to say their names just yet because we're not going to do any spoilers just yet. Well, for now, we'll call them Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Okay. Or, 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 um, oh god, I don't know. What should we call them? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's Beavis and Butthead, which one's going to be Beavis and which one's going to be Butthead? Like, oh what? god, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Butthead could be the big one because he was so annoying to to, to, to get. Or right. she. I, we don't even know the gender of these, these monsters. They, they were just so big and ugly and horrible. They were just like... They could have been aliens from out of space. Exactly. So let's talk about Butthead first then. Yeah, I think but, so. Boy oh boy, wasn't he a boss fight? Oh, horrible, horrible. Uh, the, the boss fights... first, sorry. I thought it was a bloater at first. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, and then it just kind of, you know, it, it was not. Um, uh, but I'm not going to give any names away. It's just Butthead for now. Because it just is a Butthead. butthead for now. It was a massive Butthead. He was. Do you think it's the sort of game that you would play again? Absolutely, I, I'm definitely going to new game plus it, that's for sure. Mm. Lots of times, most likely, to see if I can get all the upgrades. I did that with The Last of Us 1. I absolutely smashed it and got all the upgrades. Nice. Yeah, I love, I love a bit of new game plus. And then you can just destroy the infected in like two hits. As well, if you've been watching this, because it's obviously it's non-spoiler, so you will... We are not in this podcast, but the podcast after, we're going to be having a special guest joining us, Tudlu. Absolutely. A special guest. And you know him better uh, than I do, my friend, so why don't you go uh, and introduce him? Yeah, I will do. At the, uh, we're going to be having... Well, well, maybe we should keep the guest a surprise for the should minute. Should we keep it a surprise? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what, I can't do any hard... Well, we're going to have... Millennia Hunter joining us, we might as well. We're going to have Millennia Hunter will be joining us. Um, we're going to tell you more about him soon, but if you want a little warm up, do check out Millennia Productions on YouTube. Absolutely. Check out we link him? We're going to link him in the description. We'll link him in the description. Check out Mrs. Bangle as well, uh, which is a the same uh, the same idea, same brain child, but not uh, not that's not strictly gaming. So if it's just gaming you want, check out. Millennia Productions, but if you Absolutely. want a bit of a laugh as well, with a, with a fantastic character who's also been in games, um, particularly dream games, then do check out uh, Mrs. Bangle, but more on that soon. For now, let's jump into the spoiler zone, but we will do Absolutely. it in a separate video. <laughs> so now we are going to uh, jump onto the spoiler section, which is going to be a bit... Uh, a bit of a this is where I lose subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, though, if we warn the people before it starts, then... Right, right, listen up close, people at home. If you do not like spoilers, do not watch. We mean that. <laughs> do not watch the next video. Do not do it. We'll give you another spoiler warning when we start it, but I swear, if we both, if Tulu and I get abuse and trolls on our chair go, YOU SPOILED IT FOR ME! YOU'RE A <laughs> TERRIBLE PERSON! I'M then you, you, you kept watching because, you know... Well, we did warn you, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but like... <laughs> You know, you guys uh, we, we've given all the warning signs and everything, so... Also, I'm glad we're starting again because I've lost my train and I'm completely lost and I'm screwed <laughs> and I'm the episode. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And Absolutely, we'll see it's been you on a great podcast one. as usual. Too yeah, it's funny, I had some problems at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> as always. I did, but we got there, we got there. Okay, well, well, farewell and see you soon. Toodle.